Today's demo will show how to use Hadoop to analyze server log data and respond quickly to an enterprise security breach. Server logs are computer-generated logs that capture data on the operations of a network. They're useful for managing network operations, especially for security and regulatory compliance. IT organizations analyze server logs to answer questions about security. For example, if we suspect a security breach, how can we use server logs to identify and repair the vulnerability? And also compliance. Large organizations are bound by obligations such as HIPAA or Sarbanes-Oxley. How can IT administrators prepare for system audits? For today's demo, let's consider the fictional case of a system administrator named Fred. Fred's system looks good when he goes to lunch. When he returns, he notices a tenfold spike in the number of support tickets, and then his phone begins to ring off the hook. Members of his enterprise are unable to log in to the VPN. Fred will use Hortonworks Data Platform, also known as HDP, to transform server log data in three steps. He will load, refine, and visualize the data. Fred's company captures and stores its server logs in the Hadoop Distributed File System, known as HDFS. Other types of data, from different sources, also flow into HDFS. Think of all of this data as a data lake that contains years of data on network performance from multiple sources and in different formats. Let's look at how log data loads to Fred's data lake. Apache Flume is a service in HDP for streaming massive amounts of log data. Here, we can see the logs from the VPN server flowing through Flume into HDFS. The log records contain a timestamp, an IP address, the country, and an indicator about whether the connection was successful. Throughout this demo, you will see us process the data using our Hortonworks Sandbox. You can download this from our website. Fred uses HCatalog to browse the log data and make sure it has been loaded correctly. HCatalog provides a metadata layer and REST interface for Hadoop data. He sees that time, IP, country, and status all display correctly. Now, Fred needs to prepare the data for visualization. Fred uses an Apache Pig script to push the server log data for review in Elasticsearch and Excel. Pig is a scripting language that simplifies processing in Hadoop. Fred uses Elasticsearch for day-to-day -day monitoring of his system. Elasticsearch is an open source engine for real-time search and analytics. Fred uses a simple Apache Pig script to push the latest log data to Elasticsearch. With only four lines of code, Fred interfaces with a new visualization tool. Fred suspects that he may be experiencing a distributed denial of service, or DDoS, attack. He needs to visualize the data to answer three basic questions. How many connection requests have come in over the past few hours? Where are the connection requests coming from? What type of connections are they? Are they from authorized IPs or unauthorized machines? To answer the first two questions, Fred wants to see how and when the network traffic changed. So he uses Elasticsearch for a high-level visualization of the log data. The tool allows him to easily identify the moment when the network traffic increased. He can see clearly that most of the new traffic came from unauthorized machines, confirming his hypothesis that this is a DDoS attack. Fred can also see that there's significant traffic coming from many countries, including several where his company has no presence. He will use Excel 2013 and PowerView functionality for more detailed maps on the location of the attacks. Hortonworks Data Platform has an ODBC connection to Apache Hive from Excel, so Fred uses Excel 2013 to connect to the data in Hadoop. This will bring up the list of tables, which he can access directly. Fred takes all the columns in his log files and imports those into Excel. Presto! Fred's server log data is ready in Excel. In PowerView, Fred can see his network traffic by country. The orange portion of each pie chart represents successful, authorized network connections. Blue represents connections from unauthorized sources. He can quickly see that there is cause for concern. Since previous DDoS attacks have come out of Pakistan, Fred takes a closer look at traffic from that country. First, he sees that all access requests are blue, 
meaning they are all unauthorized. He looks at traffic from Pakistan over time, looking at minute-by-minute -minute connection request volumes. For this demo, we're going to presume that all error requests are part of the attack. In reality, you may choose to perform deeper forensics. Fred uses this data to update the firewall, to deny requests from those unauthorized IP addresses. In a matter of minutes, VPN access returns for Fred's coworkers around the globe. If Fred wants to operationalize this update, he could use Apache Uzi to schedule a job to automatically update his firewall every hour. We've shown only one use case about how HDP helps system administrators store and analyze server log data. Because Fred had real-time access to massive amounts of that data on HDP, he promptly restored VPN access and protected the company from similar attacks in the future. But all of Fred's log data is still there in his HDP data lake. He can use this data for other forensics, to respond to different security threats, or to prepare for compliance audits. You can start analyzing your own server log data right now with the Hortonworks Sandbox, a single-node Hadoop cluster that you can load to your laptop for free. Go to the Hortonworks website and start playing in the Sandbox.